Hello, my name is Benjamin Unger, and it's my pleasure to present our letter titled The Impact of Dupilumab Treatment on SARS-CoV-2 T-Cell Responses in Atopic Dermatitis Patients. So for some background, Th1 cells play an important role in SARS-CoV-2 or COVID-19 immune responses. It's been postulated that elevated Th2 cytokines, which are seen in atopic dermatitis, may impair appropriate Th1 responses to viral infection. Furthermore, it may be that Th2 targeting therapies are corrective. We previously showed that dupilumab, which blocks IL-4 and IL-13 signaling, is associated with milder COVID-19 in AD patients. Furthermore, antibody responses to mRNA vaccination are not affected by dupilumab. And so we set out to evaluate whether T-cell responses are affected by dupilumab treatment. In order to do so, we collected PBMC samples from moderate to severe AD patients, either after COVID-19 infection or after SARS-CoV-2 mRNA vaccination. 55 samples were collected from patients in the former group and 125 samples from different patients after mRNA vaccination. We stratified the patients into three cohorts based on their treatments. So dupilumab, patients on systemic immunomodulators that are not dupilumab, and patients uh, that we titled the limited group or patients untreated systemically, so only topical medications or no treatment at all. PBMCs were incubated with spike protein peptides, and interferon gamma and IL-2 antigen-specific responses were quantified using fluorospot. So looking at the interferon gamma-positive spots, after COVID-19 infection, we found a trend towards elevated interferon gamma-positive spots in the dupilumab-treated group compared to the limited group or systemically untreated group. Furthermore, when comparing the interferon gamma to IL-2 ratio, which may be reflective of a, more, of a more specific Th1 response, we found again a trend towards higher levels in the dupilumab versus limited groups. Then looking at T-cell responses after mRNA vaccination, we found again that in terms of interferon gamma positive spots, dupilumab led to higher levels than the limited group. In this case, also compared to the other systemically treated group. And then when looking at the ratio of interferon gamma to IL-2, again, we found a trend towards increased levels in the dupilumab versus the limited group. So in conclusion, this study supports the hypothesis that specific Th2 targeting by dupilumab promotes a more balanced Th1 to Th2 response to COVID-19 infection in AD patients. We found trends toward increased SARS-CoV-2 specific interferon gamma positive T cell counts, as well as a greater interferon gamma to IL-2 ratio. Furthermore, by blunting the abnormal activity of Th2 cells, Dupilumab appears to promote Th1-prone T-cell responses to mRNA vaccination. So overall, this study suggests that Th2 inhibition with dupilumab does not hinder and may possibly even improve Th1-specific T-cell responses to COVID-19 infection and to mRNA vaccination. Thank you.